Yo, what's good, Crazy Nation? It's your boy SP Raptor Crazy. You know what it is. I'm back again with another reaction. This is to Kiss of Life performed a medley of Lonely by 21 plus Money by Lisa. Let's get it. Let's go. Now in my luck, I'm going to have to use the copyright thing. The filter. I'm actually shocked that Tanati. Give me what the hell I want. Give me what the hell I want. Say, check the money, make a bank account number. Yeah. That that shit to never get a bounce. Say, a bitch, I did the money dance. I just met her, honey. If you were going to tell me that someone was going to perform money, I would not believe that it was going to be Natty. Fuck yeah. 100%. For me, it's more about the cadence, and Julie's got that cadence. I understand Natty's got the dancing, but Julie's got the cadence of the way that she raps. And as well, Julie's a YG trainee. Julie knows how to rap YG style. We already learnt this. Julie's a YG trainee. Like, she's the perfect person to do a thing like this, but interesting. Ah, oh, okay, she does see on. Okay, makes sense. Because yeah. to me, Julie's got that YG sound. She's got that. She's got that YG sound in her. Interesting. I didn't do it solo. If you ask me, I would have given this to Natty, and I would have given her Rosé, but anyway. That's just me. I go by the name of CL21. It's been a long time coming, mm. but we're here now. And we better get the roof on fire, baby. Yep.
Interesting. This, this should just be called a YG medley. It would be so much easier to remember. But anyway. <laughs> Interesting. I want to hear this. <laughs> you can really see. You can really see her YG side in this stuff. Like, you can really tell she's a Like, she's... You can tell why she went to do stuff for YG. Like, you can see it. You can just see it that she's made for this type of music. <laughs> YG audition. <laughs> Down. Interesting. Wow. Wow. That sounded so dead. That reaction sounded so dead. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. I've learned something through this video. I've learned a lot through this video, though. To me, the people that impressed me the most was Hanul and Julie, personally. It just, it, this music suits them. Like, it suits them so much. Um, Natty, that guy better stick to MCing and not try to read the Korean. I, I better, you better hope that guy's not an actor. Because if he's an actor, he's a horrible one at it. But anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Um, Oh, what I was saying was about the whole performance. To me, the ones that impressed me the most, like I said, was Julie and um, Hanun. I noticed something about Belle in this. YG music doesn't suit Belle at all. Like, at all. Her voice does not suit their music at all. Or at least the songs that they... Ex sorry... Except for the songs, let me rephrase that because I reckon she'll suit the other songs that they have. Like the more slower songs, the songs that they give to Rosé and stuff like that. But in my personal opinion, I don't, I did not like the way Belle sounded in this at all. Like there was somewhere I was like, ooh, okay, Belle, nice. But then there was somewhere I was like, ooh, okay. Like there's still places to grow. For someone like Belle. Which that's good. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing that there's places that she still needs to grow. That's perfectly fine. Um, I feel the same way towards Natty. P personally, I feel the same way towards Natty. I don't think Natty suits YG sound at all. Like, at all. Like, I'm listening. What The thing about YG sound is you got to match the attitude of the beat. You got to match everything about YG sound. Like, it's not easy. I, I've said this. Imagine, we've had this conversation about Blackpink. We've seen so many people cover Blackpink, but they're not as good as Blackpink. They're not as good as them, because Blackpink, they're really good at their sound. Like, there's something about them that, they match it. What'd you say? Julie has that YG attitude and Hanul could still transform her voice to fit it. But their sound is so different to YG's style of singing. 100%. And like, it's not a negative. Like, this is the thing. I'm not destroying Natty 
or um, Bell, it actually intrigues me because it means that they, they have places to grow. That's so fascinating to me. I look at this, I'm like, ooh, like, they, both of them still have places to grow. But it's interesting. Like, my takeaway on this is, it's good, but it could have been better. That's how I see it. This whole performance is good, but it could have been greater. It could have been amazing. That's how I feel about it. I, to be honest, I've heard people cover shutdown and I've heard people do it better. Personally. I've heard people do shutdown better than this. But the 21 one, I don't know because I don't really listen to 21 like that. So it's easy. It's like, you know what I mean? It's harder to say. Bell is 2SM. You need attitude for YG. It's, I think it's more than just that. I think it's what they gave her as well. Like the parts that they gave her. And Shutdown, to be honest, Shutdown's not an easy song to sing. We've, like I said, Magic, we've seen countless of people cover Shutdown and they don't do it well. I can only think of a couple that have done it good or even amazing. You know what I mean? And that says something. That says something because. It just shows like how much Blackpink's music or YG's music is build, built around the artists that sing YG's music. You know what I mean? I'll be honest, the thing that interests me, that, that entertained me the most about Natty was her dancing. But that's no surprise. I know Natty can dance. I like, that's something I already know. You know what I mean? I know Natty has stage presence. I know she can dance. That's why I said I wouldn't have... I would have given her solo if I was them. I would have given her solo because solo suits her way more than it suits um, Hanu. I was impressed by what Hanu did. Far out. She did well. But I would have given Hanu ro Rosé. Fuck, they could have even given her Jiso if they wanted to. Like, they could have given her any of those two. But I get it. I understand why they gave um, Natty um, Lisa. I get it. I get why they gave it to him. But I don't know, man. I feel like for me, I've been feeling this way about Kiss of Life for a while. They're focusing too much on Belle and Natty. Way too much on them too. Where Julie and Hanul are kind of getting lost. They're getting lost. And I think that's why they're impressing me the most. Because whenever I see them, they never disappoint. Whenever they have to do something, they smash it. Because, and they kill it. Like, they always kill it. I can't think of a time that Hanul and Julie have, like, disappointed. I'm not saying that Belle and... Natty have, but you know, it's just interesting. It's just very interesting. One day, K pop, K pop will be shocked to discover what Hanul is growing into. Yeah, Hanul is scary, and so is Julie. Julie is developing in a way that I don't think people have, have noticed. I'm pretty sure Kiss of Life fans have noticed, but I'm talking about K pop stands like. I don't think K-pop stands have noticed how much Julie and Hanul have grown from when they debuted to where they are now. And it's so interesting. Like a lot of people are going to be like, oh, you're hating on Belle and Natty. No, Belle and Natty are both talented. They're both amazing. But there's still rooms that they need to grow in that they haven't grown into. There's still areas that they need to improve, which that's no surprise. Every artist needs to improve. Not every artist is perfect. But my thing is, I notice how they push. I notice how they push Natty and Belle as like a duo. They kind of push them like, um, like Lily and Haywon. And to me, that should be the other way around. It should be Belle and Hanul and Natty and Julie, in my personal opinion. I've always found that odd that that's the way they're pushing things. But hey, what do I know? I just find it interesting. 
but it takes away the pressure from the other two. Yeah, it does take away the pressure, but it adds more pressure onto Natty. Like, I know, like, Natty's been our trainee for so long, all of that stuff. Yeah, 100% fine. But, you know, like, the problem is, is when you put, like I said about that video, that Jonathan video, how are you going to put, uh, how are you going to put Haywon and Lily against Natty and Belle? That is, that is like Espa putting Karina and Giselle against Wendy and Sully. And not even using Ning Ning and Winter at all to sing. Do you know what I mean? Like what? <laughs> like what? Like it's weird. Oh well, let me let me rephrase that. We'll put Ning Ning and I don't know Giselle or Ning Ning and Karina like that. It's it's the best singer with the most popular member, pretty much. That's what that's how they're promoting it. And to me, it's like. The only way Hanu will grow is if she gets to get put on these shows. That's the only way she grows. It's like, look at Nmix. Nmix's group, the reason they keep on growing is because all of them, it's not just Lily and all of them getting put on shows all the time. It's all of them as individuals getting put on shows. So I just find that interesting. I just find that interesting how this works. But I love what Kiss of Life is doing. Even though, like, I have this, like, nitpick. I've, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a station. I'm not, this is the thing. I'm not blaming this on Kiss of Life. I'm blaming it on whoever the fuck does the programming and stuff like that. Not on, on the artist. But to me, the only way Hanul and Julie will grow, besides, obviously, they're still growing now, is by put, being put in pressure of points. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's all I really want to say, sir. If you like this, give this a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment if you want to see more. Subscribe. Remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Latest. Ah, whoop. That's going to be interesting.